Okay, welcome back to the 4.2 Jeep rebuild. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and remove the camshaft, the crankshaft, pistons and rods, along with the oil pump and the oil pan. So, here we go. Well, I needed a long half-inch fine thread bolt to uh, get a good grip on the camshaft to pull it out safely without scoring or marring the lobes um, and the main journals. So, uh, couldn't find one. We're going to go ahead and make one with some steel stock real quick. Made about an inch of thread, should be good enough. We'll go ahead and just use a simple hacksaw to cut this off and maybe even thread the other end in case I have another cam that's threaded different. I'll have them both in one tool, but for now, we'll just get this one cleaned up, cut off maybe about eight inches or so. And there we have it. Just want to be careful not to drag your journals or your cam lobes the best you can. I'm feeling it right now. I'm kind of leveraging and I'm feeling the angle here. Finding those holes. Gently pull it out. There's the distributor oil pump drive. And yes, if you're used to a V8, these straight six, <laughs> these are really long. So we'll, we'll measure it, mic it, and see if it's reusable. Give it a visual inspection. I will say this. This engine has already been bored over 60 thousandths. We know it had tons of blow-by. Rings, valves, valve guides, etc. We have been given a 1980 block, one year newer, that's already been bored over 40, 40 thousandths. And we may end up going with that one for the build. But we're going to go ahead and mic everything out and document what we have. Eventually get it over to the shop for um, honing and cam bearing. You might have noticed when I pulled these pistons out, <clears throat> I protected the journals of the crankshaft by putting these rubber protectors over the threads of the rod. It's important, especially when you're putting a new engine together, people always tell you protect your rod journals, your main journals, protect them always. But I do it when I pull them out too, because these can score your bearings, uh, your journals, excuse me, and they could also score your cylinder walls. So just be careful when you pull it out. When we go to put these in, I may put in a long piece of fuel line rigid fuel hose on each side. So as we tap the pistons in to the block, uh, the fuel line will guide the rod over the journal and keep it centered. And you won't have to worry about these threads scratching your new journals. So be careful with that. Next, we're gonna remove the crankshaft.
We're gonna pull out our the top half of our main bearings. We will not be <laughs> not be using these again, of course. Next step is to get this block, or at least the crank and our 1980 block, over to the machine shop. And uh, we'll go ahead and evaluate the other block that's 40 over, see if it can be honed or if it has to be bored. And then we'll get the appropriate pistons, rings, and bearings. We know the crankshaft will have to be turned, so the main bearings will be different. Uh, we'll go ahead and measure them so I know what I have before I send it over. Once those come back, uh, we can start reassembly.